I am bringing you a goodie today. I have the Sam's Feed Box Rainbow Wishes for March 2024, and I'm super excited to get this unboxed and make something really cool out of it. Um, I only took a little peek when I was unwrapping the paper, so that way we didn't have the paper to go through on video. Um, otherwise, I have no idea what's deep inside this bag. So let's turn around and get this unboxed and read all about it and look at all the beautiful bees that are in this box. I'll bring it back. Okay, here we are. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a peek at everything inside. All right, so the March 2024 Sam's Bee Box is called Rainbow Wishes. Um, there's the candy and I have been giving the candy to my husband because I feel like it's an even trade. I get the beads, he gets the candy. And so I will give those to Mr. Shane. How's that sound? All right, so before we get opening this, let's read. So Rainbow Wishes, can you remember how you felt the last time you saw a rainbow? Shira and I were driving home from the shop recently and witnessed one of the widest rainbows either of us have ever seen. She frantically rolled down the window to get a good photo as we stared in awe. It's not hard to stop and enjoy the sight of the colorful nature wonder. A rainbow forms when water droplets suspend in the air, act like crystal prisms, dispersing light into a full color array. To create our own rainbow, we designed five custom strands of luster coated beads. We included lovely blues to paint our sky, labradorite and moonstone for glistening clouds, and yellow jade for our shining sun. In creating our third anniversary box, happy anniversary, Sam. We loved the symbolism that a rainbow offers in beginning anew. We are excited to embark on a new year of boxes, fresh with inspiration from Tucson and exciting news that Shira will be joining the shop full-time very soon. We hope that this month's box offers a sense of hope as the weather warms. Please share what you create and photos of any rainbows you see in our Gem Chat community on Facebook with Hashtag Sam Speed Box March 2024, Sam. All right, so that's awesome. I love rainbows too, and I do get excited whenever I see them. So let me go ahead and I'll open up this bag, get everything set up, and then I'll be right back and we will look at all the beautifulness in this box. And we're back. So let me just talk a little bit more about this. So this Rainbow Wishes um, 30 anniversary box has a retail value of $83. So um, the subscription is $49.99 a month um, plus shipping, and it comes straight to your home. So you can tell that um, what you pay per month is um, a substantial savings for what the retail value of these beads are. Um, also, if you use the um, code Jody 5 at checkout, you can receive this first box, your first box for $5 off. So that's a good little savings that um, the people at Sam's Bead Box has given us. So before we get too far into that, let's go ahead and check out what we have here. So the first thing we have is Check Glass Smooth Heche Rainbow Luster Mix 4x8 and you get a 25 piece strand. These are really pretty. I love that rainbow luster. These are really, really pretty. Okay, so next on our list, we have um, Check Glass Fire Polish Round Rainbow Luster Mix, eight millimeter, and you get a 15 piece strand. Look at the beautiful sparkle and color in these beads. Just so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, and then next we have Check Glass Fire Polish Round Rainbow Luster Mix in the four millimeter size, and you get a 50 piece strand. Here's the cute teeny weenies. Love those so much. And then next we have Check Glass Smooth Drop Rainbow Luster Mix, seven by 10 millimeter, and you get a 15 piece strand of these two. These drops are so gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, next is something really super cool and I think you guys are gonna love these. 
This is a check glass groovy rectangle rainbow luster mix, nine by 14 millimeter, and you get a 10 piece strand. Look at how cool these are. These are so stinking cool. Amazing. I love how they're diagonally drilled like that. Like they're just so super cool. Okay, next we have Check Glass Twist Nugget Crystal AB 9mm uh, 15 piece strand. So look at these. These are really cute. They do like look like little like clouds in a way or even like little hail pieces. And look at that luster. That luster is just gorgeous. Picks up so many colors. Next we have a Moonstone chip, six to 11 millimeter range, and you get a five inch strand. Look at this moonstone. Oh man, is that gorgeous. I love moonstone. Moonstone is so pretty. All right, next we have Aquamarine Faceted Rounds Grade A, which you guys know is like top of the line here four millimeter, seven and a half inch strand. Look at this aquamarine. Isn't that pretty? So pretty, I love the facets on that. There's so many tiny little facets and it just picks up so much light. Next we have Labradorite Smooth Round Grade B, five to six millimeter, 15 inch strand. Look at this giant strand of Labradorite. And there is so much blue. I'm picking up so much blue in this. I don't know if you can tell on camera, you may not be able to, but it just glows. And there's so many like little blue um, glowing pieces in this, in these beads. It's so pretty. Okay, and then our last strand is Check Glass Drux Round, of course, Sapphire Skies Mix, and they're six millimeter and you get a 20 piece strand. These are really cool because they're half clear, half um, opaque, and I think they're really neat looking. And of course, it's just like the finishing touch to all those strands. Look at how cute those are. They're so pretty, so gorgeous. All right, so now that we're done with the strands, let's go on to the additional selections that they made for us. We have check glass um, table cut oval, light sapphire, 12 by 14 millimeter, 10 piece set. Ooh, look at these, you guys. They have like a matte finish on the outside all the way around this oval. Wow, these are really pretty. Oh, I like those a lot. Really, really like those a lot. Then next we have uh, check glass coin, sapphire skies mix, six millimeters, and you get about seven grams, which is approximately 40 pieces. These are the cutest little coins ever. Look at how cute they are. The, you know, they're two-sided, of course, you know, but one, some of them have like a more clear to one side than others, and it's just a really cool little mix of beads. Really fun. Really, really fun. All right, and to keep on going with our blue skies, we have Preciosa Crystal Bicone in Sapphire, four millimeter, and you get a 2.3 gram bag, and it's about 40 pieces of these lovely little crystal bicones. Just beautiful bicones. All right. Next we have um, check glass carved cloud nugget, white silk blue AB, 10 by 12 millimeter, and you get six pieces. Oh, these are kind of cool. These are really cool. They do have like a little AB finish. You can see like a light blue going through that, you know, like shimmery light blue going through the light blue. Very, very pretty little beads. They're really cute with little stripes. 
I like that. Next we have Laser Edge Coin Sparrow and it says Color Berries, 15 millimeter, two piece set. Oh, you guys know I'm crazy about the little birds. So these are like a little bit green, but a little bit purple when you move them. And they're really, really pretty. I love these little birds. All right, so next we have a Cloud Pendant Link and it's acrylic and it's pearl white. It's 25 by 39 and a half millimeters and you get one piece. That's adorable. This would make the cutest, like you could do like a, um, of course it would look cute on a necklace, but I'm thinking it would be a really cute thing that you could hang from your window, like a little sun catcher, just something little. I think that would be so cute with some of those little rainbow beads. That'd be adorable. Let me just stick him here. Okay, and then next we have Yellow Jade Sun, and it's dyed. It's 24 millimeter, one piece, and it says there's natural inclusions. So here's the little sun, and oh, it's really pretty. Here's the little hole up at the top here, so you can put a bale on it, like a little pinch bale, or you can do, um, you can make your own wire wrap bale, or um, just put a jump ring through it. Simple as that. Okay, next we have Check Glass Twist Diamond Pink Luster. And they are 12 and a half by 22 millimeters and you get two of them. These are huge. Oh, I like these. Those are really cool. Those are so super cool looking. And then what's completely next is um, check glass carved oval in champagne and you get a 14 by 22 millimeter um, bead. They're a um, two piece set. These are really neat. They have the little edge and you can feel the um, where it's raised and it goes in on the bead. So it has a really nice texture to them. Really pretty. Drilled through the center right there. Really, really nice. I like that champagne color. Okay, and then we have our last bead and it is a check glass table cut flying bird coin and it says color varies. So 22 millimeter and you get one piece. Look at the bird in here. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And it's the same on both sides. Very pretty. I got mine is kind of purpley, so I'm kind of curious what everybody else gets. Very pretty. All right, so the last thing is the tear cast that we got in this box. So we have three things. We have um, the, I apologize if I pronounce this wrong, but it's Marrakesh Link, and they're 14 by 23 millimeter, two-piece set. These are really cute links. I like these. I feel like the you can do a lot with these. It has one, two, three, four, five holes. So this this is really neat. And it's a little curved right here. And there's just a lot of detail. Really pretty. And then next we have a swirl button. And you get one piece. It's 13 and a half by 17 millimeters. I like that button. I'll have to show you guys what I do with these too when I go to make something with it. And then the very last thing is a hammered hook and eye clasp and it's six by 13 and a half millimeters and you get one clasp, clasp set. It's got very nice little hammered detail on the clasp set and I really like these hook and eyes. I think they're really cool. They just, they look kind of rustic yet modern at the same time. So there is our Sam's bead box for March, 2024. Happy anniversary to Sam and everybody. Happy th third anniversary. And I am so glad that I get this box now and I can celebrate with you guys. It's been a long time coming. And um, I just wanted to get this unboxed for you and we are actually gonna make something. And you know, I just, you know, I like to do a design in a moment and I am feeling a bracelet today. So I will be right back and we will design a beautiful Rainbow Wishes bracelet. 
Okay, everyone. So I have everything that we're going to use today. I have one of these check glass twists that I want to use. We're going to use the little um, clasp from the box. We're going to use some of these really pretty rainbow rondelles, um, Heshi beads, I should say. And then we are going to use some of the moonstone chips as well in this piece. I did bring some stuff from my own stash. I have some bead caps in case I want to use them. And I just got the little leafy ones because I think they're really pretty and they don't overdo the beads. I brought some silver spacers because I thought these would look really cool, um, kind of grouped together. And I brought some of these really pretty um, luster purple. I think they are left over from a Sam's bead box too. And I thought these would look really cool maybe with this. So this is what we're going to be using and we're going to make our bracelet with it. I have some um, beading wire here and it looks like I'm using the seven strand today. So we're going to cut off probably about almost 10 inches of stringing wire. which will leave us plenty of room to do our, you know, our findings at the end, our little wire guardians and such. So um, I have a couple of jump rings in case we end up needing them for anything. And I don't have anything that I'm thinking about using as a dangle, but if I think of something while we're sitting here, then I'll definitely grab it. But we're gonna go ahead and put on our one end. So let's do our little crimp tube and our wire guardian. Here we go. This is such a colorful box. I really think it's so cool that they did um, the rainbow theme um, for this box. It's really neat. And, you know, finding the inspiration just on a drive home, you know, and it's, it's pretty amazing. That's why, that's why I always say to you guys, you can find inspiration anywhere you look. Um, it doesn't have to be nature. It can be anything. It can be a building. It could be, you know, like the graffiti on the building that you saw. It, there's inspiration in everything that we see. There we go. All right. So what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and um, I think I'm going to kind of dive in with with uh, these little guys. But what I want to do first, I want to put on one of these bead caps. Okay, we're going to put one of these bead caps on and just send it all the way down to the end of our where our bracelet starts there. And then let's do one of these little purple spacers. If you don't have any of these purple spacers, you don't need them. You can even use like a metal spacer if you want to use a spacer. Um, I just thought I would use some of these since they have the same kind of finish, that lustery finish. And then we're gonna do like a reverse rainbow here. So let's do purple. Do you guys remember Roy G. Biv learning that in school? I think about that every time like I see rainbow stuff, I'm like, Roy G. Biv. <laughs> Then we have green. And then this yellowy color. And then I believe that's a red. Yeah, it's like a reddish pink. So here's our little mini rainbow. That looks really, really cute. I like that. So we're gonna do that. And then let's just do the same thing on the end of this little rainbow. And let's put our little disc on there and then our bead cap. And then I would like to just go right into um, using the moonstone. But before I do that, I would like to use another one of these little purple spacers. And let's look at the moonstone and see, because I would like to try to separate out a little Lucy hair there. Um, maybe some white going into clear. Let 
Yep, it's a little bit lighter. That's a little bit lighter. Okay, so we have this kind of separated out. So let's let's do this white. We're gonna make this kind of resemble like this is the clouds in the sky. I'm just trying to find like a good fit for all of them too. Um, they're not perfectly center drilled because they're chip beads, but that's what makes it even more interesting. That'd be a good end. So let's go with this one. Let's do this one. And this one. And this guy. And then let's go with a few of these lighter ones. So we use seven of these here. Let's try to do like another seven. That's actually a really good end. Let's do this little purple in between. And then we can go into some that aren't so um, opaque. I don't know if you guys can hear my husband singing, but he's singing Phil Collins right now. So if you can, I hope you are enjoying it. <laughs> if you can't hear it, he's singing in the air tonight and he just did the drums. So if you know the song, you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know, right? Okay, so <laughs> here we go. You know what? I don't like these purple guys in here in between. We're gonna redo that. Let's take those off. I decided I don't like that, so let's fix that. I just want to go straight into this. He's making dinner, so we're having sauerkraut and kielbasa tonight for dinner, but um, I know there's probably a lot of people out there that are like, ew, but he, the way he makes it, he makes it, it's so good. He actually, um, match sticks like car um, not carrots, apples and mixes the apples in with the sauerkraut and it gives it an even like sweeter taste. It's so good. All right, that looks cute. I like this, this is gonna be adorable. And then I was thinking about using this twisty bead. And then let's go ahead and do our little rainbow here. A lot going on out there right now. Um, my stepson, uh, son's uh, girlfriend, just came over and she hadn't been over in a little while. So as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go out there and visit. Okay. So here is our bracelet. Let's see how much room we have here. It looks like we could do a little bit more beading. So you know what, let's take this part off a little bit. And let's take this part off. I mismeasured. And it looks like we have just a little bit of space. And I think maybe I wanna do this at the end anyway. So let's, let's just do a few more of these little white ones they're really pretty these little moonstone chips yeah. and I don't know if I want to do this one right there I think I want to do that at the end so let's go ahead and do our purple our little bead cap another little purple one and then let's go right into our little rainbow oops whoops 
for you little guys here. So I'm finally feeling like I'm catching up, you guys. I've been so far behind. It's been ridiculous, like how far behind I've been. And um, I, you know, I, I know life happens and, you know, it, it, everything's fine. But it's just you feel like out of place when you don't get to do the things that you enjoy doing as much as I enjoy doing this. So um, let's use a little twisty bead here just to kind of make it look a little different. And then we can do our little spacers. I think I want to go right from the silver. I want to do it this way. Do these three silver ones right next to our little twisty bead. And then let's do some of these purple ones to the end. So we can do probably these last three twist. Um, little spacer beads here. And then we'll be able to close up our bracelet and um, try it on. It looks cute. It's gonna be really cute, you guys. I think it's gonna be lovely. All right, let's go ahead and get this end closed up here. See if I can feed that through there. Oh my goodness, I was struggling with that one. All right, let's get that pulled down. And maybe we can put that through a few beads here. At least maybe up through the silver ones. They'll fit. Oh yeah, it does. It fits just fine. So yeah, if you like sauerkraut and kielbasa, then you need to try to like just, you know, match stick up some or shred even some apple and, you know, Granny Smith is great, but we usually use a sweeter apple, like a gala or something like that to add in with it. And we don't do a lot. It's basically like almost like a half an apple with like a whole um, jar of sauerkraut and it's really good. It just adds like more depth. Um, he also does, he cooks up onions in it too. So you get that sweet yet spicy yet sour flavor. And it, it's really great. I feel like it would even make, it would make people who don't like sauerkraut enjoy sauerkraut. I mean, that's just my humble opinion. All right, now we're gonna use a jump ring on this end to hook our other end of our clasp together. And here we go. I'm gonna take off the bracelet I'm currently wearing. You guys remember this one, right? We did a tutorial on this one. This was another Sam's bead box. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is really pretty. I love the way this turned out. Usually these clasps are easier for me to hook I should get more of these. I'm going to bring it close to me and hook it together, guys. It's just the easiest way for me to do it. Okay, I got it on. All right, so here is like the moonstone part of the bracelet. We have our little rainbows and our little twisty check glass, our little spacers at the end there and our clasp and our other rainbow and it just it fits nice and it looks really pretty no matter which way it ends up twisting so there you go there's our first um, piece that we've made with rainbow wishes the march sam's bead box and it is beautiful all right everyone i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if so give it a like you know share it with a friend um and if you do want to join Sam's Beatbox, you can click on the link below 
put in my promo code Jody5 and save $5 off on your first box. All right, everyone. Thank you. Have a great weekend. I think this is my last video for the day. Bye, everyone.